Hi, boy. Where, where is your friends today? Oh, they're, they're video gaming. Oh, you're, you're here asking for wisdom. Oh, oh. Seems I've, I've forgotten most of it. Um, there's a good one. Build your foundation first. Build them better than your walls. Never lose sight of your foundation, even though they be underground. Oh, you're back, boy. So soon. Your friends, they're at the shopping mall. Oh, you say you don't understand what I said yesterday. You want to know what I mean? Well, let me put it this way. Say you could only pick three of the following things. Air, water, food, or gold. Which would you pick? Now see, everyone got excited when I said gold. But you don't really have a need for it. Uh, a hankering, perhaps. It's, it's pretty, it's shiny, but uh, what good is it, really? You see, people are, are fools. There'd be many that to pick the gold, hang it on a little string, a bobbing on their neck, and then they thirst to death. You know why? because they take the basics for granted. The, the foundational thing. Most people say they would pick no gold. Are they so sure about that? People, they always want to do the big things, the high-minded things. They say, oh, I'll grow up to be a doctor or a lawyer, professional ball player, a rock star. See, no one wants to take out the trash. And our world is getting trashy. No one wants to grow our food. Because these be the basic, simple things. You, you see, when people be doing simple things poorly, we get poor health, poverty, poverty of mind, which is foolishness. Take, take doctors, for example. Their life work is to make others healthy. You know, they only live, they live five years less than the average person. <laughs> Oh, oh. You, you see the irony of that. Their life is about making others healthy. And then they, they lose sight of their own health. So to speak, they're working the gold mine. And they, they, they're working long hours, eating poor food. They, lots of stress in their life. And yes, yes, sir. They get to run over, chugga chugga choo choo, chugga chugga choo choo, by their own gravy train. Now, take, take mothers. They want to do something more important than raise their own flesh and blood. They have no time to cook. So, fast food, here, here you go. Mothers. Mothers are not mothering anymore. They'd be off at the gold mines, hoping to strike it big. Meanwhile, their youngins be back at home, lonely, fed non-food foods on styrofoam plates. 
baby set by big boxes glowing strangers talking boxes oh oh my oh my people in your world you know they let everyone do the most foundational task for ye you let other people raise your babies Feed your baby. You, you, you miss the first step. You even send them off to be taught. And then, at the end of the day, you say, How was your day? And you know what they have to say? Nothing. Because they can't relate to you. You cannot relate to them. You probably haven't even seen where you work. They have not met one of your co-workers. You don't know nothing about the food you put in your mouth or what is in it. You ain't got a clue who lives next door. You want all the best of everything, but nobody to share it with. It's like having a love seat all alone. Nobody's got time because the gold mines are so vast, so large, that if you don't keep digging and digging and digging the weight of all that gold in your pocket, it'll pull your strike to the bottom. <laughs> Slapper, a real knee slapper. What's more important than raising up Susie? Feeding her good food from your own garden. Teaching her from your own Bible. And when the day's work is done, gathering the family on the porch. Work in the old rocking chairs, petting the cat, bringing the old dog over, maybe put a cup of banjo. And as the red sun sets over the horizon, you don't have to ask, how did your day go? Because you know you were there. You're living life together under this great sky, on this plane of existence, together, a real family that still gathers on their front porch and has Sunday dinner, lunch, and breakfast together. Boys, I have to say, this is the last stop on the gravy train. Get off here, the track is long and wide. It goes and goes and goes for miles. Get off the gravy train now, or be carried to where nobody knows.